Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today we are going to take a first look at the brand new and also free Office app for Windows 10 and also made by Microsoft. And now as full disclosure before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft and also I worked on this app. Uh, it's been busy getting this app ready to uh, push out to users around the world. In fact, that's also why my YouTube channel hasn't had as many videos recently because I've been busy on this. But hopefully it's been worth it. You'll have to tell me by the end of this video if you think it has been. The Office app promises to be the best place to get started with, to get back to, and also to get the most out of Office. So that's what the promise is. Um, so enough talk, why don't we jump into it and take a look at what the Office app does what it is, and you'll decide if it's something you want to use. I am on my, on my desktop, and there are a few different ways uh, to access the Office app. So what you could do is you could click on the Start menu, and here I have a double wide tile for the Office app, so I could click there. Um, I could also use uh, Search or Windows Search. Uh, so I'll bring up Windows Search, and I could type in Office, and here it pops up in my list, and I could also click on the taskbar because I've pinned uh, the Office app to the taskbar. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the Office app on the taskbar, and this will bring up the app. Here's the Office app, and, and keep in mind the account that I just logged into the Office app with, this is an entirely free account. I haven't paid anything. One of the things you'll notice is at the top of my app here, I have um, at the top of the Office app, I have all these apps that are part of Office. And I want to talk a little bit about how this works. Um, let's say that if, let's say I had Word installed on my computer. If I click on Word, what that'll do is it'll launch the Word app that I have on my computer. I just closed it just so it doesn't open. Um, but let's say I did not have Word. So let's say I've never bought Office before. If I click on this app, what that'll do is that'll launch the web experience. So I'm just going to open up here since I have the apps installed on my machine. But I would get this Word Online Start Experience and where I could create a new document. I could get back to templates. I have recommendations. And I also have my recent files down below. And so I'm going to go back to the Office app. Um, but th so that's really neat. If I'm a free user, um, it's OK. I can still use the full functionality of Office. Um, and as I go down here, uh, what you'll see is this is a recent list. I have recent documents. I could pin documents. Um, let's say I want to pin a document. I could add it to pinned. Um, I could also uh, see files that have been shared with me. Now, let's say that I don't have Office on my machine. If someone, let's say, sent a Word document to me and I want to open that, what I could do is here I see a local document. I could click on Upload to OneDrive, and then I could upload that to the cloud. Now, one of the nice things about this document list is it's a combination of files that I have on OneDrive, and it's also uh, a, it shows me what files I have on my local device. So it's kind of a merged recent list of everything on my computer as well as in the cloud. Um, what I can also do is I could upload a document to the cloud. So here if I click on Upload, um, I'm going to take a document that I have. This is a test file on my machine. So I could upload that. Uh, and what that will do then is it will upload it to the cloud. And I could use it in, say, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, any one of those. Um, and then I could also create new documents directly from the Office app. Now, this is a completely free account. I have access to all the Office apps. Um, I, could, I could load Word, Excel, PowerPoint files into the cloud and work on them. I could create new documents and I could get back to documents. So quite a bit of functionality. Um, some of the things I can't do, you see this Install Office button. If I click on it, if I want to be able to install the apps on my computer, that's something where I have to go premium and I have to pay money for that. Um, and that's not included as part of a free account. Um, if I also pay, I get more OneDrive storage. So those are, those are kind of the two of the big benefits, the, the offline apps as well as uh, additional storage. Um, and here you could also buy Office. But if the web apps and all that are entirely fine for you, then this app is perfect and it will give you everything you need. Um, what I'll do is I'll switch to, uh, this is an account that I pay for, uh, just to show what that difference uh, looks like. Uh, so I'm going to switch into this other account. Uh, you'll find that the screen itself, it all looks very similar. I have all my apps here. Um, it'll launch uh, the desktop app since I have those installed. Um, I have my recent documents down here. I can create new. So all the same functionality. The main difference is I'm able to install Office on my computer. And the big difference is the Office that you get on your device. Um, it has a few more features. I, I could use it offline. Uh, but the online apps are getting better and better. And so if you don't need that additional functionality and if you don't need offline support, no need to go with the paid account. Uh, but that is an option. Now, another thing that I want to show is I'm going to switch into a, uh, this is a work or school account. So this is typically if you're part of a big educational institution or you work for a company, you'll get an account like this. Um, and there are a few differences between what just a consumer account would get and what um, a work or school account would get. Um, so here I get um, search capability. What I could do is I could search for apps. I could search for files across OneDrive and SharePoint. Um, I could look for people. And I could also get back to SharePoint sites. So pretty rich uh, search capability. 
Um, within my apps here, I have all my apps. One of the additions is I get these uh, third-party line of business apps to show up as part of my app section. Um, so here I have a Contoso sales app. I could also click into this uh, gallery experience and I could see um, all the different apps that I get part of my subscription. So here I have all my first-party apps. I could also look at uh, company-specific apps. And then also um, it recommends different functionality that I might not be taking advantage of uh, within the apps that I'm already using today, say in Word or PowerPoint. Um, I also get document recommendations. This is based on documents I might be working on. Let's say I'm working together, uh, let's say I'm collaborating with someone and they left a comment for me in the document. It'll recommend me uh, that document so I could easily, I could get back to it very quickly. Or let's say I open a document multiple times a week, it'll recommend that to me the next time I come back. So it's all about getting back to my documents faster and then also helping me stay on top of collaboration uh, right here in the recommended section. Um, and I could also see more recommendations if I uh, scroll over. Um, and then uh, here too, what I get is I get my documents. It's that merge between my local device documents and my cloud documents. Um, I get an additional view where I could also see documents that are trending in my organization. Uh, let's say the boss uploads a document and it's hot and I haven't seen it yet. Uh, that's the type of place I could go to uh, see a trending document. Uh, what I also have is I could quickly navigate back to SharePoint places that I use frequently. Uh, same with uh, OneDrive uh, folders. Um, so that's that, that's the core capability of the app. Um, you'll notice too that you know here if I go up to the uh, different settings, I could uh, jump between accounts. I could get to my profile, my account. There's help information. I could also have organizational help information that shows up. Um, and lastly, you know, here I could set different themes. Uh, and if you have any feedback on the app, if you have things that you want, if you have things that you don't like, feel free to send your feedback here. The team is very responsive to feedback. Um, I've already submitted a few things and I see that they respond very quickly. Um, but you can click on that and, and that'll send feedback. Uh, and, and hopefully you see improvements quickly based on what you send in. So this is the Office app. Uh, when I started out, I said that the app promises to be the best place to start. Uh, to get back to, uh, and also to learn about everything you get as part of Office. And so after watching this video, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think the app does this. And there, the light's turned off, so that means we're wrapping up. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see future, the lights are coming back on. If you want to see future videos like this, uh, please hit that subscribe button, and that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. Anyway, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.